What is going on, YouTubers? It is your boy Delexman, and you are watching my NXT review for the date of March 16th, 2016. 316, baby. You know what time it is. We are two weeks away from NXT TakeOver Dallas, which is the very first Friday of April, which is also on April Fool's Day. So April Fool's Day, we got NXT Dallas. And the joke is not on NXT, the joke is on WrestleMania because this show, NXT Dallas, is looking like it's going to kick WrestleMania 32's ass. And I'm not trying to say that to be a dick. I'm not trying to say that to be spiteful of the booking of WrestleMania 32 so far. I just really feel like at this rate, if the WWE does not pull it together... In the next two weeks, and then I am almost certain NXT Dallas will kick its ass. And how embarrassing is it? Would it be? Will it be for NXT to show WWE up on the grandest stage? Just saying. I'll get more into my thoughts about WrestleMania this Sunday in my preview. Look for that. So, um, th this was a good show. I think this show served a purpose, one purpose, and that was to get you as excited as possible for NXT Dallas, and it did that. My God, I came out, I came out of this show just salivating, salivating for NXT Dallas in two weeks. Let's start off with the first match announced. We had Sami Zayn come out for his promo. He talks about his match against... Uh, Samoa Joe, yeah, right? Samoa Joe last week, and how he went to war with him, how he had to pull out all the stops just to beat Sami Zayn, and he's not ashamed of the loss, although he is upset that he doesn't have a match, but um, he's not ashamed of the loss. He knows that one day he will be an NXT champion, again, two-time NXT champion, which makes me think, is Sami Zayn going to start working double duty? main roster in NXT. I mean, he can do that, but that's a lot of work. Will he be able to handle that? If he can handle it, sweet. Because if he stays on NXT, that's great. So, man, we'll see how that works. But he's upset he doesn't have a match at NXT Dallas. Here comes William freaking Regal. And he says, oh, don't worry. I got you an opponent. He points to the Titan Tron. And who shows his pretty face on that thing? It's Shunsuke Nakamura. That's right. New Japan Pro Wrestling's and recently signed talent from New Japan. Shunsuke. Shunsuke Nakamura. My boy. He's in WWE. Technically NXT. But he's going to be at NXT Dallas. And he's going to go one on one with Sami Zayn. Think about that. I don't think hearing that at first, you're going to feel the gravity of what kind of match you're about to get. I think after a while, the more you think about it, the more the gravity you will weigh. Because this match is huge. This is a huge freaking match. Let me ask you this. Outside of WWE, before he even came to WWE, Name me one time El Generico took on Shunsuke Nakamura. Oh, wait. You can't. It's a first-time match. And the veterans. And it's going to be on a big stage in Dallas. So you know, you know, they're not just going to go out there and have a match. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the king of strong style versus one of the best freaking wrestlers in the wrestling business today. It's going to be a classic. I'm calling it right now, this will probably be a match of the year candidate. Like a lot of matches will be on NXT Dallas. This is going to be a great match. It's Shunsuke Nakamura's first match in WWE. This is going to be awesome. Awesome. Well, NXT, but you get what I'm trying to say. It's going to be a great match. So, that got me hyped. The next thing to get me hyped was the Hype Bros. No, I'm just joking. I'm sorry, that was a terrible lead-in. The Hype Bros take on uh, Angelo Dawkins and... Kenneth Crawford. Kenneth Crawford. I've seen him before. Um, 
this new team of Angelo Dawkins and Kenneth Crawford is interesting. Not just because they're two black guys forming a team, but I'm just very interested in see how, seeing how they work. I think they're going to be, um, if, if booked correctly, they could be something. Let's, let's see. Let's just give it a shot. Well, they were in Hasme Town in this match. They were served to pretty much be fed to the hype bros. And this, this freaking chant by Mojo Raleigh, this, he ain't hype! It's so contagious. It's too contagious. It's very contagious. I can't get enough of it. Like anytime, every time, he says, he ain't hype! I'm right there next to him. He ain't hype! That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go down the street and go, you ain't hype! I will scare a lot of people. I guarantee you I will. Go right up to their faces. Hey, man. You ain't hype. I dare you. I dare anybody right now watching this video to record yourself going up to somebody random and going, You ain't hype. And just turning it off and walking away. I dare you. If you do it, not only would I plug you, not only would I do that, I will make sure you get a million freaking views because that would be awesome. Don't do it. Please don't. You'll 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 creep people out. That's something I would do. I'm just joking. Um, we got Emma confronting Diana Parazzo. Parazzo. I can't roll my R's right now. Parra I, I quit. I can't roll my R's. Um, backstage, and Diana stood up to Emma and told her, "Look, I'ma end the Emma, 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 Emma Lucian tonight." The reason I said that multiple times because I botched it the first time through. So Emma, 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 Lucian tonight. And then Emma's like, ha, ah, bitch, you thought. <laughs> that, should, that should be her catchphrase. Emma just go to people and be like, ha, ah, bitch, you thought. <laughs> Who you think you're talking to? Huh? Ah, bitch, you thought. Um, Emma takes on Deanna and poor girl gets destroyed. It wasn't even a match. It was barely even a contest. I think Deanna got like one, two seconds of offense and then Emma just beats the shit out of her. I love that running crossbody into the corner. It's like, how do I describe it? Because at first when she did it as like the playful, dancing, quirky, dorky Emma, it wasn't as devastating. This time, as the sawn off badass that she is, she starts from all the way on the side of the ring, all the way on the other side of the ring and comes stampeding over to her opponent and rams him. Like, it's like a full force crossbody. And it looks devastating. It is badass, man. Just awesome. But she beats uh, Deanna with the Emma lock. Her bridge chin lock is pretty freaking cool. Um, I hope De uh, Deanna's okay. I'm pretty sure she's all right. She is cute, though. I think Deanna is like 21, 22. Lots of potential there. I'm talking as a wrestler, by the way. Don't get any ideas. Although she is cute. Anyways, uh, yeah, and Daniel Brooke. Uh, I don't know how bad her injury was. I hope she gets back inside the ring soon. Because I miss seeing her wrestle. I like seeing her on my TV set. I don't care what anybody says. Deanna. Deanna Book. Deanna Book. Deanna Book. WWE just signed a new talent called Deanna Book. It is the love child of Deanna Perrazzo and Dana Brooke. <laughs> Deanna Book. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Deanna Book for the NXT Women's Champion. Um, Dana Brooke. You know, I just like seeing her on my TV set. We move on to Tommaso Ciampa. Is it Ciampa or Ciampa? Does it really matter? Doesn't really. Because he's an ass kicker. Yeah. He's a big... Fat ass kicker. That's exactly what I was going to say. No, I botched that. I really wanted to say he is a badass. But ass came first, so I just... I improvised on the spot because that's what your boy Jalex Man does in his NXT reviews. Ch uh, Champa Champa goes out there and pretty much destroys Jesse Sorensen. Who, you know what? I think eventually Jesse should get some kind of... Some kind of push, some kind of highlight, maybe being a tag team. Because he's extremely talented. Athletic as hell. He did a 
beautiful drop kick in this match. Although it didn't matter because Ciampa beat the living hell out of him. He did like this running knee. He exposed his knee, pulled down his knee pad, and did like a devastating running knee into the corner. And I think he might have broken his jaw. Not really, but he might as well have. He beat someone with that bridge on bar because he's a technical sawn off. What I liked about this match is that we finally got a glimpse of Tommaso Ciampa's crazy, chaotic, um, vicious side, which is something I've been missing because when he first came in, he was like cool, easygoing. Now he's starting to show the real Tommaso Ciampa. And seeing him perform makes me wish NXT had a secondary belt, a junior heavyweight championship, or something. Something. Make, make these talents feel a little bit more special. Give them something else to go for, you know? So, he beats Jesse Sorensen. Then we move on to the Divas match. Excuse me, why did I say Divas? The women's match. The women's tag match. They are Divas, I know, because it's under WWE's umbrella, but whatever. They're women on NXT. Bailey and Asuka versus Nia Jax and Eva Marie. Let's talk about this one. Let's, let's talk about it, because this match was... It's weird because I like the premise of it. Uh, fans wanted to see Asuka beat the living hell out of Eva Marie. Who doesn't? So we have Nia Jax, who is basically stopping that from happening. You know, Bailey goes in there, gets the living hell beat out of her by Nia Jax and Eva Marie. So eventually, Asuka does get the tag, and she gets her hands on us. Uh, she gets her hands on herself. <laughs> she gets her hands on Eva Marie. And so you're thinking, oh, great, she's gonna get the living hell beaten on her. So this is gonna be great. Eva Marie is so bad when it came to the selling aspect in this match. She sold everything atrociously, and I mean terribly. It was bad it looked like it, it didn't even look realistic she didn't even look like a human being kicked she looked like a dummy being kicked like oh my god sell it sell it what is wrong with you and it was against oscar so it looked even more it looked even worse and oscar was kicking her and it wasn't one of those playful kicks no she kicked kicked eva like, God damn, sell it. Sell it! But she didn't. So it was terrible. Ugh. And there was this one spot where Belly... Belly? Belly. <laughs> Bailey knocked out Eva, and uh, Nia Jax hits Eva with her leg drop by accident. And then Bailey hits her with the Bailey to Belly and beats her one, two, three. With an assist from Asuka, of course, but she wins the match for her team. And that was that. Ah, just not a fan of Eva Marie selling in that match. She's done better. Now, where Rigo comes out again. And he makes the announcement that it's going to be Bailey versus Asuka. Massive, massive women's match at NXT Dallas. That is great. That is awesome. That is awesome. That is awesome. It's going to be great. That, ugh. Someone asked me on Twitter, what would I have main event the show? And I looked at him like, I didn't respond to him, but I want to look at him and go, are you crazy? You, know, you really want me to pick between Finn Balor, Samoa Joe, Sami Zayn, and Shinsuke Nakamura. Shunsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke, Shunsuke. Nakamura, him. And Bailey versus Asuka. You really want me to choose between those three matches? Really? You choose, because any one of those three can close the show, and I'd be perfectly fine with it, because that's, that's, that's awesome. It really is. Damn, man. This show's got to be awesome. Um, We have Austin Aries cut his interview, you know, talking about how Baron Corbin made the mistake of attacking the greatest man that ever lived, and he's going to pay for it at NXT Dallas. That will be his debut show. So we got those three matches. Then we got Austin Aries versus Baron Corbin. Austin Aries debut. And then to top it off, the main event. American Alpha versus The Vaude Villains. Number one contendership for the Tag Team Championships. Um, really good match. Really awesome match. Very fast paced. Good spots. Good innovative offense. How about that? 
it was just a good match. But it ends with American Alpha beating the uh, the Vaude villains, and will go on to fight the Revival, Dash and Dawson, at NXT Dallas. Let me just talk about this one spot. So there's this move called the Chaos Theory, where you grab someone behind, push them into the turnbuckle, roll backwards with them, pick them up for a German suplex, and bridge back, hitting them with a German suplex. Now, that move is also, well, it was done by someone... And TNA, I forgot his name because it doesn't matter. But that move is now being done by our favorite, favorite wrestler, our favorite amateur wrestler, Chad Gable. And he did that one move to Aiden English, and it looked sick. Like, he just whoosh, and then slammed his ass down. It was awesome. Now, Jason Jordan is great at what he does. And Jason Jordan, when he gets those... Jason Jordan might be the king of hot tags. His hot tags are amazing. When he pulls those straps down, the entire crowd goes crazy. And Dallas would give him the exact same reaction. Because Dallas is a great crowd. So, um... Man, when they won this match, I just thought to myself, there is no way, no freaking way, WrestleMania... Is going to come close to the show. Unless, unless, unless in the next two weeks, they really, really turn it up. Because as of right now, I'm more pumped for NXT Dallas than I am WrestleMania 32. And I can't believe I'm saying that because NXT, are they right now they only have like, what, five matches? Yeah, it's just, just five. I'm pretty sure they'll add two more somewhere, somehow, some way. Um, maybe Apollo Crews would be on the show. We gotta have Apollo Crews in the show somewhere, somehow, some way. Um, I, I, I have to sit. Wait, is it five? Let me see. World Championship: Finn Balor versus Samoa Joe. Sami Zayn versus Shunsuke. Shinsuke, Shunsuke Nakamura, one of those. The Tag Team Championship: American Alpha versus The Revival. Asuka versus Bailey. Austin Aries versus Baron Corbin, and I think. Yeah, that's all we got so far is five. So we'll see. Maybe they'll add more. If they add more, I'm not going to complain. Maybe it'll just be a five-match car. It's going to be a two-hour show. Maybe it just needs to be five matches. But as of right now, I am more hyped for NXT Dallas than I am for WrestleMania 32. That's sad. NXT Dallas is more exciting right now, has more hype, has more excitement than the grandest sturge of them all. And this particular WrestleMania is extremely important because it has to sell out 100,000 seats. Oh, they got a lot of work to do. Oh, they do. You just gotta wish them luck. Oh, man. With that said, oh, I'm gonna end it right here. NXT was good tonight. Can't wait for NXT Dallas. I will see you for the NXT Dallas preview the week of. Um, I won't do one Sunday. I'll save the Sunday one for WrestleMania and we'll keep it at WrestleMania because that's going to be a long video. But the NXT Dallas preview will be done the week of. With that said, thoughts, comments, how you feel about NXT tonight, your excitement level, your excitement level for NXT Dallas, and everything down below. So this is your boy, Deluxe Man, signing off from NXT. Peace.